What is up my friends? What is up my family? Welcome on my sneaker. My name is Frost and make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay connected for the latest updates, latest sneakers like for example this one. I mean you can see at the package from the package it is a pair of ASICs and also I got Instagram at my sneaker YT. What you get here special offer from 70 bucks to 59.99 so 60 we got the Gel Sangaku 2 Metropolis Electric Red is the colorway 44 or size 10 is the sizing and let's check them out for trainers I mean they are pretty cool they are pretty cool looking because running sneakers running shoes are always this you know this all the same looking design of course we got some Nikes, we got some Ultra Boost which totally stand out but the regular running shoes all got this meshy upper this very well, I mean it's A6 we got a very well bolstered midsole and dampening and we got a grippy downside with the soles but generally speaking I think the design is pretty cool pretty balanced, not like this typical running style of uh, shoe which I am not a fan of uh, especially when it comes to the coloring so I would say let's start up with the my sneaker categories and yeah let's start up with styling so what I do not like is when a running shoe has this vibrant silver color which is kind of reflective kind of not it's just um, this special silver where you know okay it is not a reflector but it should be used and when the lighting shines on it, it it's kind of glowing and I do not like it I'm more into muted colors of course when it comes to running it's obviously good to be seen and especially when you're walking late or early in the morning but uh, anyway like I said the typical running color scheme and um, materials the combination most of the time doesn't attract me so this one stands out because it is for one kind of basic when you um, leave away the red you can see muted colors this anthracite gray from the upper then we got kind of like a I don't want to say fake leather but a mix of elephant print and this how I would describe it um, then at the rear it continues and moves all around the sides so it's pretty uniform and then we got the red striping all across and at the top of the lace holders and this little accent right here so well balanced not totally loaded with colors and I don't want to say too much pop so it is well balanced and then we got the white midsole and the black soles so we got a pretty tidied up sneaker tidied up uh, running shoe which is what I personally really like not too crazy on colors um, not too subtle uh, it's got some contrast and that's what I really prefer when it comes to these kind of sneakers sizing I went with uh, one size up on this one because simply it fits it fits better on my personal feet um, normally I would have size 9.5 so I went a size a half size up in this one when it comes to comfort I mean obviously you got gel it's written on there and we got a pair of ASICs which are known to be pretty pretty good obviously there are um, I don't want to say better uh, more, more comfortable sneakers out there when it comes to running you cannot talk about comfort you should talk about the fit on how they feel on your feet and how your preferences are when it comes to uh, running the gel system from ASICS is what I personally really really like but I'm a big fan of the Ultra Boost from Adidas um, but I have never used them for actual running I um, use Boost in the gym for example because simply it's a pair of super comfortable sneakers my POD F3.1 I really like them they got boost at the rear and um, 
they are not really designed for running. But to give you an idea that I know both systems, um, the gel for running from ASICS is a classic and really really good. When it comes to materials, obviously this is not the most expensive one from the ASICS series. So do we have drawbacks? No, not really. Why? Because the standard quality right here is still pretty good. Obviously you can feel that the materials, they feel solid, but not like premium. Like I said, this mix of elephant print and fabric mixing of not real leather, um, I cannot describe it what it is, but the smashy upper, I, I felt better materials. But do they feel cheap? No, not really. It feels all good, all solid. The sides could be a little bit more bolstered and you got this pretty hard edge at the sides which is running to the back of your heel. You got bolstering right here. Like I said, it's a good sneaker, good running shoe, but you can step up the game when you're putting, I don't know, 50 bucks more onto the table you get a little bit more of that premium feel and better materials and a better feel overall. But for me, I'm not a big runner, so this is perfect for me. But I would say put them on my feet and have some fun. All right, let's move over to the My Sneaker scoreboard and My Sneaker categories with the A6 Run Sangaku 2. When it comes to styling, we got a solid 7 out of 10. This is pretty good for a running sneaker in my opinion because, you know, running sneaker got the individual design. So 7 out of 10 is pretty solid. Comfort, I would say 7.5 out of 10 because they're good. They got gel soles. They are not the most comfortable, but as, you, as I said, running is something special where the individual comfort zone counts. Outfit integration, 
Again, it's a running sneaker, wouldn't rate it too high, 7.5, because the colors are easily to combine with each and every outfit. You only have to take care of the red striping. Materials, 6.5 out of 10, fits the shoe well because the materials are good, are solid, not bad, but not crazy good, which brings us to a my sneaker total score of 28.5 and it shares the position with the Nike Blazer 77. If you got any questions, make sure to leave it down below in the comment section and I will read it and answer it. See you next time, goodbye.